Hey friends and welcome back. So guys, I am here to share this week's weekly grocery haul with you. Now I am just picking up a few staple items and items that we need to get through the week, as well as a few items for Thanksgiving fixings. Now hopping into it, I am shopping at Kroger's, of course, that is my main grocery store with their sales, their store um, coupons. That is just my happy place. So let's hop right in. I picked up a container of cornstarch. We just needed more in the pantry. I'm going to be making a stew tonight. So I'll be using the last corner of the container that we have. Picked up a um, six pack of the Jiffy cornbread mix. I picked up eggs. They were two for five. So I got four cartons total. Also picked up a family pack of chicken breasts. I will be splitting this between the humans as well as Lola the pug. Then I picked up some boneless pork loins. These are center cut chops that were on clothes out for $4.99. So I picked these up. I'm probably going to split these between um, the humans and Lola as well. Then I got two bags of the Gov shrimps. These were $4.50 each. Regular price was about $7.80. So I went ahead and picked up two. Picked up apples. So I have five here. They were five for $2. I will be making a apple and pork chop in the um, slow cooker. So I needed those for that. Picked up our salad, of course. This is $1.98. And then I had a coupon from Kroger's, which was a, I believe, 50 cent off. So $1.49. Then we picked up yogurt. I'm not even sure how many the hubby grabbed, but they were, I believe, five for $2. So he grabbed a bunch there. Picked up two gallons of milk. Also heavy whipping cream. I am trying to get on that keto life, leaving all the extra sugars and creams and all behind. So heavy whipping cream. I've been using this for the last two weeks and I have to say it's not too bad. Typically I would use like coffee mate creamer, um, but I'm going to be trying to get on keto. So we're going to leave it at that. Also picked up a white onion as well as a yellow onion, some Kroger thick cut bacon, picked up a stalk of celery, one English cucumber for Madison and myself. We're the only two that really, really love us some cucumbers around here. Picked up two yams for the hubby. He's the only one that really eats these. The oldest son, Jalen, will eat them, but the hubby more than not. So I'll be making him some um, yams for Thanksgiving fixings. Also picked up a bunch of bananas, some Tice's Honey Breast Tenders. The kids love those, and since they're out for a week, they'll be eating on those. Went ahead and picked up more of the um, chocolate chip Pro House cookies, the Nestle cookies. Let me tell you guys. This here has become a serious situation. Again, I'm saying I'm trying to get on a keto life, but I just can't leave these cookies alone. They are so delicious. So two packs of those. Also picked up two organic apples. So we are going to be having the apples and pork chops, and I'm going to be making Lola the exact same dish, but I'm using organic apples for her. Now, isn't it funny? I'm feeding the family whatever, but she's getting organic. Only the best of the best for my baby. All right, and then we needed more um, cookie spray and baking spray. Now, here's some of the clothes out meat that I picked up. So, this here is a pack of pork loin center chops for $3.22. I'm going to chop all this up, and it will be for Lola. Also found a beef roast for $3.41. Same thing, I'll chop that up, and that'll be for Lola as well. The chicken hearts, these are $1.19, um, I guess regular price, so $1.49 for the pack. And then I also picked up some, I think these are boneless pork loin chops as well, so I'll chop these up for Lola. Then I picked up two of the um, peas and carrots for frozen mix, and I'll be mixing that in with Lola's meals. Then of course, blueberries as well as strawberries. The hubby needed more raisins, so we got that pecans as well. He likes to mix pecans in with his raisins and I will be using this for his yams as well and then um, marshmallows because it is the season to be using marshmallows for all things. So this is our weekly grocery haul. Again, it's just a fill-in grocery haul to get us through the Thanksgiving week. Picking up a few items that we found on clearance um, or close out if you will. And of course things for Lola the Pug since I am now going to be making all of her meals and stuff. Guys, definitely comment down below letting me know how do you go about stretching out your grocery budget? Do you look for those closeouts for meat products, produce, dry goods, etc.? Definitely comment down below. Just give us some tips on how you go about stretching out your grocery budget. Now, for everything that you see here, I had no coupons except the two coupons I had loaded to my store card, which was 50 cent for my salad, as well as three off 15 for the um, meat items. 
Other than that, I use no coupons. I will be checking, of course, for any rebates that might be available. But for everything that you see, I spent $126 out of pocket. Definitely a unplanned trip for me. Definitely more of what I would normally spend. But again, I am getting meat products um, and just, again, a few fill-in items that we're needing. As always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Definitely comment down below. Again, letting us know how do you go about stretching out your grocery budget. As always, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And until next time, bye.